All right, in this video, I'm going to cover a blog post and how to create and print labels using Google Sheets. First thing you do is click on the link in the blog. I'll link it in the description. You can go ahead and install. Just follow my steps if you don't have to do it the admin route. We'll click done. It tells you where to find it. And we'll go on to Google Sheets. All right, so in here you go over to extensions and if you don't see it down here, just refresh your page. That's what I had to do. All right, we'll close the pop up and now we have this panel on the right side. First, you're going to select the data that you want to use for it. First, you're going to select the template you're using. If you don't know this, you can check our website. And then you'll select the data you want to populate the cells with and then organize that. So you can see here I'm putting each line on its own. I'm putting each column on its own line, except for the city, state and zip. Those would be long on the same one. And then you can center or leave it the way it is if you want. And then you go ahead and create the label and you click open. And then you click open and it will automatically open the document for you. And as you can see, we have three different labels already formatted to print out on the label paper. So we'll go ahead and hit print and I'll show you what that looks like. When loading the paper, make sure you have it oriented. For this one, as you can see, the little icon, the picture is facing down, so we want the printed side facing down. You want to double check your slide or your guides because label paper is a little bit more finicky than standard printing paper. But here we go. You can see three different labels, and because I didn't format it or center it, it's just left justified at the top. In the next clip or video, I'll show you how to do some customizations. So this is the customization I was talking about. I'm going to scale down the subtitles as in the alphabetical categories. The genres are going to be bold and larger. And in a second, you'll see me go back to the Excel sheet grab the icon I just copy and then go back to word and paste it and then it's going to be pretty large so i'll scale it down and then copy and paste it into each cell that i want it and of course you can do a different one in each that's related to the genre or whatever your application is this is just an example of how you can customize your labels within these two applications together. See you in the next one.